You are with Breakfast 16 Minutes to 7. Thank you for the pleasure of your company. We're turning now to COVID-19 in New Zealand's death toll 26, Brazil's 353,000. That is a staggering difference, even allowing for population size. Brazil's population is about 42 times greater than ours. Their death toll, 13,000 times greater. Imagine that. Imagine the grief, the fear, the exhaustion. Imagine what's happening to their economy. And it's not stopping. Last week, for the first time, the country recorded more than 4,000 deaths in a 24-hour period. Terrible. So for Brazilians in New Zealand, and there's roughly 7,000 Brazilian New Zealanders, what's it like to watch this catastrophe unfold from afar? Uh, Andrea da Silva is a New Zealander from Sao Paulo. He lives here with his family, young family, two kids. And he joins us now. Uh, bom dia and good morning. Thank you so much, Andrea, for coming in. We really appreciate it. Boy, oh boy, this is tough for Brazil, isn't it? It is. It is a very, very concerning situation. You know, it's one of those, those things. I'm really happy to be here in New Zealand. Luckily, I'm here with my wife and kids. But, you know, we're still very, very concerned about situation of especially our family and, and, and close friends in Brazil. And, and you had some really tough news about your brother in the last week, right? Exactly. So it's been two days that my brother confirmed. He, I was in touch with him, so he said that he got the swab test done about like a week or 10 days ago. But he just got like confirmed positive for, for COVID-19 and it is likely to be that uh, P1 strain mm. which is more more severe, more it's a, concerning. It's a vicious yeah. strain, yeah. It is, it well, is. Well, we really wish you and your brother well and, and, and we send him our love. How are your mum and dad going? They are okay, they are okay. So um, luckily they are retired so they don't have mm. to you know they don't have to move too much I'm, I'm always in touch with them saying please stay at home please stay safe yeah don't don't do like uh, any unnecessary <laughs> moving but yeah it's really concerning can we talk about and and and, and in the context of 353,000 lost lives mm. this is a completely separate conversation but how are people surviving economically because the brazilian economy has just taken a bashing right that's correct and, and so how are people getting by what kind of state support if any are people getting so realistically there's no um plan, like official plan from the government, like a national plan. Um, from time to time, they have a kind of support, but it's minimal, very, very minimal. Like um, in New Zealand dollars, this will be equivalent to 200 New Zealand dollars a month. 200 a month. Yeah. And uh, as the economy is going like really, really bad, so prices are increasing yes, like, it's rampant inflation exactly, yes, exactly yes uh have you lost people to COVID 19 people you love yeah unfortunately yes yes really sad i lost a couple of friends in my hometown and your hometown i said you're from sao paulo but yes. the state of sao paulo right yes. so so you're actually from uh, almost from the country right yes 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 so and, and so there is no part of brazil that has escaped no 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 not at all so what happens is a kind of delay we have basically a delay of uh, two months roughly so what we are seeing in the big cities uh, it takes about like two months to be wow. happening the same like repeating the same situation in countryside. Our 4,000 deaths in a single 24-hour period last week. Is there any sense, Andrea, that, that the situation's improving in Brazil? No, not at all. So people are, are like a bit hopeless because imagine if there was like a, a very serious actions being taken for uh, mitigation and control of the situation. If this was happening right now, so imagine that this curve will be going down, it will take like some period of time of going down, but this is not happening. There's, there, there's no action, there is no national plan. So, so here we are, you have two children mm. and they are living great Kiwi lives yes. and they're able to run around and play with their friends and do whatever they want in the weekend and you are watching this tragedy, this catastrophe unfold at home. Gosh, that must be strange. This is really sad. This is really sad. And the feeling of having your hands tied, there's, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. So it's, it's, I'm really happy, really glad to be here with wife and kids. So kids love here in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. 
me and my wife as well, of course. We're really happy to be here in New Zealand. And, um, you know, seeing what is happening in New Zealand, not only in regards of the government actions, but the society in general. So people are like, cooperating you know every citizen they have this sense of responsibility that this is something that we must do together to achieve something and what is happening in Brazil is like the opposite so it's really really sad Andrea da Silva uh, obrigado thank oh, you so much thank obrigado. you thank you <laughs> thank you for coming thanks for in. having me it's a, it's been a, a pleasure and a privilege and we really wish your brother well please tell thank him from so us thank you so much thank okay. you so much okay it's really lovely to meet you Andrea and it's great to have you and your family in the country thank you thank you it's 10 to 7 and making news back here this morning. Nurses are unimpressed by the latest pay rise offer from district health boards. We've got more on that at 7. Also here on Breakfast, how gaming industry grants. This is the money that comes back to communities from the pokies. Could be influencing councils on whether or not they clamp down on the pokies. But next, the continuing concerns over the process that resulted in Matata residents being removed from their homes. Brazilians in New Zealand feel uneasy watching COVID-19 ravage their home country. The death toll there is nearing 350,000, with 4,000 deaths recorded in a single 24-hour period last week. Andre de Silva says friends and family back home feel hopeless with minimal support and no national plan from Brazil's government. This is really sad, this is really sad. And the feeling of having your hands tied, there's, there's nothing we can do, nothing we can do. So it's, it's, I'm really happy, really glad to be here with wife and kids. So what is happening in Brazil is like the opposite. 